So for making khanvi, we need 1 cup of besan. Add salt to it. Now add 1 cup of buttermilk. Add 1 cup of water also. And now you have to mix your batter very well. Make sure you break all the small lumps in the batter. Perfect. Like this you have to do. And that's it. We are done with it. Now with the help of sieve, strain your batter so that you get away with all the small lumps. That's it and we are done with the batter. Now cook your khanvi batter for at least 10 to 15 minutes because we need thick consistency like custard and it should be creamy. Right now it is in liquid status. Now we have to just cook it. Make sure you don't burn it and you, to have, and you have to stir it continuously. Now after 15 minutes you can see that we have got a thick uh, consistency at this moment don't leave your batter otherwise you will end up burning it and yes uh, 30 seconds more to cook and we are done so we have to spread our khanvi on slab or on plate I have done on my kitchen slab now add red chili powder to it to give a tangy flavor Now you have to add shredded coconut Now it's time to add freshly chopped coriander Coriander and coconut will give fresh flavor to your khanvi Now we have to cut our khanvi make sure you cut with equal distances like this I'm super excited with this because we can see that our khanvi is looking very colorful So now we are going to roll our khandvi like this you have to roll it very tightly perfect in this way see we have got a perfect roll of khandvi and in the same way do it with the other also So for tempering we need oil, add mustard seeds to it, make sure that it crackle very well. Now add hing, add green chilies, add curry leaves to it. Add sesame seeds to it and we are done with this. Now we are going to spread on our khanvi like this. Uh, do cover your whole khanvi with the mixture. Now garnish your khanvi with fresh coriander and this is ready to serve.